so much fear mongering out there that it basically has people huddled in their homes and afraid to go out and do anything. And even people in the, in, you know, the alternative research field, um, you know, the, the guys that come across growling and talking real fast and they just have everyone scared out of their wits. And, um, we try not to do that on Wing TV, you know, and oppositely we say, go out and do something. Don't be afraid of anything. So, yeah, this legislation's out there. But right now, there's very little that's been done to, to Lisa and myself. I mean, we just go out there on TV. We say, here we are. You know where to find us. You know, we're going to say whatever we want to say, and to hell with, with anybody out there. That you know? type of legislation is out there to intimidate you. Right. And if you allow them to, then they win. Why give them the satisfaction? Stand tall and say what you want to say. Yeah. And, um, you know, so, you know, we know that it's out there, and the, and the potential for harm is there. But in all reality, you know, no one has ever come in and censored us. No one has ever come knocking on our door. No one's ever handcuffed us. And the only trouble we ran into is when we tried to, to meet a radio talk show host last week, um, a guy named Mike Gallagher, and we were threatened with arrest if we didn't leave the premises. But that didn't have anything to do with the Patriot Act. That's just because this guy's a coward. And, and a hypocrite. And a hypocrite, <laughs> and he's afraid to, to see us. So, you know, we... Um, we don't try to promote the whole the whole fear mongering thing right. on our side. We instead we say go out there and, and be loud and proud and say what the hell you want to say. So basically, what this does is it allows them, and any time they decide they want to access this act and use it, they can they can imprison you, hold you without any charges, hold you without any access to an attorney for as long as they want to. Yeah, technically well, they can, but I think most people aren't experiencing that. Yeah. Well, I think most I mean, people know. I mean, I, I know I'm working on the, the, I work on different angles. I'm on the Christian angle. I'm on the New World Order, the alien agenda. That's a little bit different. Most people aren't on. You right. see, yeah. well. I mean, in all reality, when but you But this think is all setting this, up for what we expect in, during the last days when, when Christians will be hounded and persecuted and taken to camps just for believing in the Lord. Yeah. I mean, like, well, if we get back to this Patriot Act, and, you know, there's a guy out there that's saying that the government's, they're listening to every radio station you listen to. They're monitoring whatever Internet sites you're on. They're monitoring what highways you drive on, what TV stations you watch, on and on and on. And we say, why should the government even care about that? Because 99.9% .9 of people aren't doing anything right. anyway. Yeah. So why would the government even care? So all they're doing is using this stuff to make people afraid. To neutralize and, you. Yeah, and, and these people that are pushing all this fear-mongering... They're as bad, if not worse, than the government themselves because we already get so much fear out of them. Right. What we need people to do is start realizing that this is just an illusion. These are head games being played with them. It's a form of mind control. Yeah, and there's no way that the government could monitor everybody anyway. I was speaking with someone that specializes in this stuff, and they said, do you know how many resources it would take to do something like this, to monitor everybody? They said there would be no money left for anything else anywhere in the world. So the whole thing, like Lisa said, it's a big illusion. It's a way to fill, up, fill everyday people with fear. So they say, oh, my God, if I do something, if I go on this website or if I go hold a sign outside or whatever, <laughs> then they're going to come get me. And it's just absolutely not true. Now, do you guys get, get viruses that are trying to put on your computer to where you can't access your own sites or certain things? No, no. no. Have you ever, I've, 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 I've experienced that. See, we've... Very, very rarely. Maybe you have a hacker, but we don't. We don't really have any problems. And we don't have any, you know, specialized equipment other than just, nope. you know, Norton and certain. Right, I don't either. You know, I'm just too computer illiterate. Yeah. <laughs> and you can look at my sites, and everyone's like, "Why don't you get some organization?" I go, "Cause I can recognize them when I get there." <laughs> I, 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 I think your site's pretty cool. I like yeah. it. Yeah. My website, I just put all the new stuff at the top. Everything else just moves down. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what we do, too, so. I don't take anything off because I figure if somebody's coming into this information and they're new, uh -huh. they're going to watch some of that older stuff that's so old to all of us. We've seen it a million times. It's right. the first time they've seen it. The most important thing, people need to know there are alternative news sources to what they're seeing on the mainstream networks. We call them the Liars Club. Independent club. media is where it's at. If you want to find out what's really going on, you have to seek the information from alternative independent sources. Right. We spend maybe five or ten minutes a day watching the network news, and that's it. Yeah, you spend more than me. Yeah, and what we do is, you know, like every day on Wing TV, and they, you know, anyone out there can find it at wingtv.net, 
We do news updates every single day, and I never go to CNN.com or Fox.com or <laughs> nope. you know New York Times.com. Never, ever, ever do I run any of those because there's so much better information out there on all these other sites. Uh, and TV those are the news ones that I use and let other people access. Have you guys had the guy on TV News Live on your show at all? Uh, who's that? TV News Live. Um, I, I'm familiar with the site. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good site. I, like, I enjoy that site. Oh, there's so many out there, and yeah, you, know, you guys are really laid back. I like your format at Wing TV. Oh, thank, thank you. you. You know, I really enjoy that. Now, do you do that live, or do you just archive it in the morning and 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 just run it during the day, or how does that work? Well, we film at two o'clock in the afternoon every day, and it's it's filmed live. And then what Lisa does after that is um, she edits everything. She puts together all the graphics before and after the show. And then she burns it, she publishes it, and then burns it onto a disc. And then she gives the disc to me, and I do all the HTML and the computer work, and then I upload it onto the Internet. So it's kind of like an assembly line. I mean, it's just boom, boom, <laughs> boom, right down the line. And as soon as she's done burning, she hands it to me. And we I get it up online between so, 5 and 6 p.m. Yeah. So what okay. we try to do is get it. And a lot of people have told us this is when they come home from work now at 5 or 6 o'clock, instead of going over and turning the TV on, they go to their computer and turn on Wing TV, and that's what we that's what we had, had originally envisioned was you know to be a replacement or an alternative for Dan Rather or CNN or Fox and News. And they can watch us for free. Right. Yeah, you know I won't even turn my news networks on, but I'll, I'll go to WingTV.net. <laughs> yeah, well we're glad. Well, thank you. You know I want TV's a waste of time for me. The kids can fight over it and have it themselves. <laughs> yeah, that's what we think. <laughs> we never have an urge to watch it. The only yeah. reason we watch it for five or ten minutes is because the computer won't reach into the dining room. <laughs> or, or like when you get an urge to be lied to? <laughs> well, we, no. just, we just turn it on when we're eating <laughs> you supper. You just turn the TV on. You know, the biggest hoax that I've, I've run into is NASA itself because the real space station is in Pine Gap. And we're paying NASA billions of dollars a year just to lie to us. And I don't know if you guys are ever going to get near that one. Well, NASA stands for never a straight answer. Never a straight answer, exactly. I mean, I tear them apart in the codes every time they open their mouths. Uh huh. And you know, that's, I want to get to the real stuff. They're, they're they're still making millions on these shuttles when they use portals to get to planets. I don't use these shuttles. These things just go to the space station and come back. They take toilet paper runs or whatever. Yeah, I wouldn't exactly look to NASA for for truth or accurate information. <laughs> they're going to tell you what they want you to know. Exactly. The way they want but, you to know it. And they're all part of the New World Order crowd. Yep. They're all working together. Absolutely. Uh, we know that NORAD has, has totally expanded. Colorado itself was a hotbed of the New World Order. Last week, Tim White just exposed Denver and everything that's going on in, in Colorado. And, you know, there's really no escaping it. If we don't do something now, there's not going to be much we can do later because our hands are going to be in handcuffs. Well, we're trying to awaken people to yeah. that fact yeah, every I mean, day. What? What people have to do is, what we say on Wing TV is go beyond yourself. Like, right. think of what you do in your normal day, then go beyond that. And now, were you guys a part of these, uh, what's their protest in, uh, or at the Republican Convention in New York City? Have you guys been a part of any of the protests this year yet? Oh, uh, no. We, um, see, for us to, to get up there, we don't quite have that luxury because we both have to work day jobs. Yeah, doesn't that just kind of bites it, don't it? Yeah, cause, yeah. yeah. Work and so, sleep are such a waste of time. We do we do local protests here in in Pennsylvania where we live, and we plan on going up to the campus again this year. We do it every year, and we have. Well, I remember you saying, Lisa, people. Yeah. you get up at five a.m. every morning. We get up earlier than that. Yeah, I get, I get up earlier. I get up. <laughs> I'm just going to bed at that time. <laughs> I get up at three thirty every morning. Wow, and you guys are just going all day long on stuff. Yeah, yeah it's like I've been up at three thirty since this morning and still haven't been to, to sleep yet. But see, so. that's what we're talking about, stepping out a little bit beyond yourself. And so we try to feature people on our shows and, and the books on our website that of people who are going beyond themselves and doing that extra little bit. And they can do anything like wearing a chemtrail T-shirt, bring awareness to chemtrails. We try to tell people to talk to someone new every day and start talking about this stuff. We have word of mouth and we have the Internet. Yeah, and it just seems like so few people are doing all the work. Well, that's, all we can say is, you know, we're trying, we're trying the best we can. We believe in what we're doing. Yep. And the first and American Revolution was started by a handful of people. And probably a mother in a kitchen griping somewhere. We need that again. <laughs> Maybe. We need that again. Yeah, we do. You know, they got all these expensive satellites homing in on housewives across America instead of their computers. 